conversation series with punch and elite artists that are in their consistent zone and are floating on top of the culture. It's the airport. It's the airport. Take off, take off. Take off. One month of that year, you remember? No, I bailed out. My mom's bailed me out. Shout out to like, Mama Schmurda. A week after, no, like a week after, my mom's bailed me out like a week after. Then Meek flew me out. The, as soon as I come home, I guess we're scrapping them. And scrapping them like, yo. Free scrap. Yeah, free, free scrap. You heard? OP family shit. All that ASAP. Time I know. I'll see that. But what about I say, um, fucking, I get we're scrapping them. Be like, yo, you call Trav and Meek and them niggas. They're like, yo. Meek won't fly you out to KOD. I, I, this, that, this, that, and third. This one, I really start taking this shit serious. I'm like, oh, shit. Mind you, the day Meek called me, I'm in the hood, nigga. I have a bunch of drugs on me. My ticket, I'm on FaceTime. They FaceTime us. This one, I'm young, wild. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, I'm fresh home, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I was like, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nigga, Meek, look, he's a wild ass ticket. He's like, yo, bro, man, I need to come out and come out for fun. Yeah. And nigga flew me out to fucking oh, KOD and shit. I, was, I, was I like, remember I did the first show out there with them niggas in the strip club. I'm like, oh, it was lit. Rap shit, lit. That's Man. when I, like... I said, but the rap shit, I kind of felt... It's like the same shit like drug dealing, but it's like you don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is crazy. At this whole time, I'm calling every DJ I know. I'm calling every label I know. I'm calling everybody like, yo. So listen, you know, you know, they got these guys. Look at my niggas. Look at them. And... and Y- y'all are buzzing so fast that I remember, I remember, I remember very vividly. A label nigga looked at me and said, "Yo, bro, this is like your little verbatim." Said, "These are your little crip friends, my nigga. How, how this shit go? A, a split toss it. I ain't bad at it. Yeah. Ain't go like this. It go goes. Yo, your crip friend. Come on, man. This is ain't. This not real. Yeah, bro. Like this shit just looking like a bunch of fucking." This is not real. And I said, I promise you, this is going to be something. I don't know why people do that with us. Right now, they think the labels and the things are crypt. These niggas are crazy, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I I, know, bro. They think that my label is crypt, too. They think that. Hey, I'm like, no, bro. That's the streets. No, but this is is how it looks. Yeah, but that's why why we're here to clear that. I'm a businessman. I'm a businessman, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, motherfuckers think You got companies. Yeah, like, I like like that shit when people see me and they think, oh, gangbanger. No, motherfucker. I'm more than that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't just think about the shootings and the drugs. and all. No, I don't worry about that. Yeah. I'm more than that. We can, we can show people that from the hood that we more than that. Yeah. We got way more to offer. We can make people smile, laugh, feel good. We can entertain. We can act. We can oh, rap. Yeah. We can do all that. We can podcast. We can do everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what I'm here to do. That's what we, the message I want to get out. The, with that, that judging motherfuckers from the gate. Oh, you just trying to get your little quick friends or you just trying to get your, yeah. trying to hear that shit, man. Shit, negative shit. You know, you, you know, I, I think, I mean, listen, you totally right. I used, I was looking at niggas. Niggas is basically slamming the door, hanging out. Yo, bro, what are you talking about? All of this shit. When y'all blew. Once upon a time. <laughs> yo, when, when, when the dogs blew, we in Kanasi. <coughs> 90s, 80s, the whole shit top to bottom. We in Kanasi and we looking at y'all success like it's our success. Of course. The whole New York. Not even the whole New York. Fuck New York. I can't even say that. Fuck that. Not the whole New York. Every street nigga and every nigga from the bottom. Everybody yeah. from the bottom who just say, yo, damn, when they see that struggle. Cause once you look at my face, you see it. You, you see knew everything. It. Those videos, you can see it. White tee on. You're going to see it. You can see you look the at my face. The dogs behind you. I show you pictures from a baby. Like That's why I would like to show my, my child pictures. Like yeah. <laughs> You're going to see it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm straight. straight. <laughs> Anything you can think of, baby, we done did it, baby. You know what I'm saying? From, yeah. from the gate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a little nigga with the icy, fly yeah. shit, mommy yelling at me, shit all over my icy, running around, little braids, die, die, die. Yeah. badass kid, that's true, yeah. So when, 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 you, when you first get your deal and niggas is starting to offer you bread, man, you starting to really go, wait, how much am I, like, at what point do you go, holy shit, I'm about to be a millionaire? <laughs> like, oh. when does that hit you? How is that like? Where are you at? That time... I ain't gonna lie. When I was 18, 19... This is the story. You know they want to hear this. My mom... My mom's state was crazy. I want to tell you. When I was like... My mom's state at 19... <laughs> I was... I was a, I was thinking like a businessman. Because I was telling motherfuckers like, yo, bro. Niggas out the streets. But... I was doing... What I'm doing now, I was trying to do. When I was young. But I ain't know how to do it. Which what? Like the maturity side of it, you mean? Like yeah. growing up? Yeah, like I ain't not a... I ain't not a... Um, exp- like... How do I say that? I ain't not to throw my business suit on without 
putting my gloves on. You know what I'm saying? Got it. I ain't not to do that. Yeah. Now I know to keep the gloves off and still put my business suit on. I know mm -hmm. to be a straight professional. Because when, when I was, I, I ain't not to break ties from the gloves. Thanks. From, from yo, I'm going to spaz the fuck out. Or, yo, these motherfuckers is playing. I'm going to shoot shit out of one of these niggas. I, I, when he's just playing, I shoot niggas for $20. What the fuck wrong with these niggas? He's playing game? I, 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 I ain't not to separate myself from then when I was young to this age. Yeah. And just know. That, that the moment was there. And no, because when you come into the industry, I tell everybody from the streets, uh, you're going to be tested. The things that we do in the streets yeah, that we thought was cool or yeah. we thought was defense, you're going to be tested in these type of industry things. You got to know how to handle shit business-wise. You got to know how to be professional. You got to know how to carry yourself a certain way. You got to know how to be looked at as a certain way. You got to know how to talk. G give me the first test that you felt, or one of the biggest tests that... Rip out in your mind, like, yo. One of the first tests? Yeah. For, I think one of the first tests is I was at this club. And that's why I always got security shit. Because I was at a club. Yeah. And i never forget this shit. Some shit happened. Me and Roddy was up at the section. And some shit happened downstairs with the bros. So when I see a crowd of niggas, I runs down the stairs. And right when I run down the stairs, guy was with me that day. The nigga Roddy runs down, he mushed some nigga, and he mushed somebody. He mushed some guy. And when he mushed them guy, I grabbed them and I went for it. And when I went for it, boom, the whole shit just broke out. They dragged me out. Boom, luckily they dragged me out. So when they dragged me out, I'm wilding now. I'm like, yo, I, I, first one, come on. I'm giving it to him. Get off me. Ah, and as soon as the guy came out, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? They restrained me. Boom, we, whatever happened, niggas get out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shit was just, but what could have happened was me not knowing security, not knowing that, yo, I'm not in that level no more, but these are for the young this artists. Is, oh, that, this is 2014. This, this 2014. 20, yeah, very This early. for the young artists that's coming up in them clubs, that's coming up in them spots. Talk to them. That's coming up in these places. Y'all gonna be tested. Get security. Fuck that. Y'all about to be millionaires. Y'all y'all walking millionaires, billionaires, shit like that. You see, you see fucking the bank got their security, right? You see fucking the sales got their security, right? You see Macy's got their security, right? Y'all are walking businesses. Fuck what niggas is talking about. Fuck what anybody talking about. Protect y'all bag. Y'all the bag. Yeah. Y'all get security. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, fuck thinking about somebody doing this under y'all. Y'all doing this under somebody. You know what I'm saying? Because the minute you shoot or the minute you go for it, that's time. Get security. Have somebody else do that shit. Count, count your money, bro. You did that shit in the streets. You did whatever you did in the streets. Leave that shit there. Fuck the all the shit. Motherfuckers talking about old oh, need to do now. Whatever you know, you can protect your life at all means necessary. Yeah, we know that. Everybody knows that. You know what yeah. I mean, but you gotta you gotta be more smarter. Don't let them catch you up. And I see all these youngs getting locked up, left to right. Like know them all. Getting indicted. Know them all. Obviously, it's like it's just common sense. Niggas done did that already. Yeah. Learn from these niggas' mistakes and be like, all right, cool. They ain't mind that kid about y'all then, but once y'all start getting some paper, they gonna start opening their eyes. Like, all right, fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. these niggas. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta, gotta be way more smarter, way more advanced. Think yeah. ahead. Think 10 steps ahead. All right, yo, they gonna do this. All right, copy. Boy. You know what I'm saying? Because they can really just learn from the whole blueprint of everything with y'all. Yeah, niggas yeah. could literally watch y'all whole life. Everybody know the street history. Everybody know all of the, the goods and the bads. And then literally go, yo, Bobby, Rowdy, the whole team, this is what happened, and then this is what happened. What's the, what do you feel is the biggest reason why they don't, like, like, listen? What you mean by listen? Like, like, why they don't listen or, or, or figure out how to move better? Because I, I feel a lot like of, I, a lot of motherfuckers the drill is like pride. over and over. I think, I think a lot of motherfuckers got pride issues. That's what it be. But that's the, it's not what I think. I know. It'd be like pride issues. We in the street motherfuckers have pride issues. I was in the street with niggas that have pride issues. I know how that shit go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to hear that nasty shit, bro. Fuck away from me, that dumb shit. Yeah. Stupid ass motherfucker with that dumb shit. That shit is stupid. That yeah. shit pride, that shit is stupid. AKA stupid. It's the difference between pride and smart. Yeah. Or it's the difference between pride and brave. It's the difference between pride and strong. You can still be strong and brave. But don't have to have all that pride shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think that confuses them. Like, if I get security, I'm a pussy man. <clears throat> or if I get security, I'm on some thing shit. I don't need security. I'm on my... You know what I mean? Or some people are just even traumatized because I could get those type of niggas, like the ones that's traumatized. Because when I was coming up, some of them, I didn't want security. Because I'm like, nigga, shit. I used to make security run when I was 14. 
from from the club. Nigga, talking about you ain't let me in. 18 over what? Every time I come to the club, when I'm 14, I'm coming right in the club. 21 over all that. They see me, they like, oh, treat me like a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Or all the clubs in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Still, I get it. Yeah. I get it. But I'm telling them, you got to think for your bag. Y'all little motherfuckers, I'm like, they got kids. Y'all got kids. They got families. Y'all yeah, got I dreams. Know, y'all got to, businesses. Even if you move closer to the shop, probably. My bag. They got, y'all got dreams. Y'all got families. Y'all got kids. Protect y'all kids. Protect y'all dreams. Protect y'all family. Get security. Secure y'all business. Y'all are a business now. Fuck that. We use a business when we was doing the drugs dealing. Yeah, we use illegal business. Like you a legal business now. You got the right for that. Be a yeah. business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, be that nigga. Fuck who told you that we can't be that nigga. Be that nigga. Yeah, we did all that. And now we're business, man. Fuck you talking about. All that. Yes. Let, let, let me ask you a question. What's up? Have you ever wanted to play big bro to niggas? Or you just allow niggas to kind of be themselves? Or do you, or you want <coughs> niggas that kind of pick up the phone?